Hi, it's David here, CEO and founder of the Freedom Founders Mastermind Community. We've just come off of a Thanksgiving weekend, uh, the holiday, the time that we are thankful and full of gratitude for all the blessings that we have. And we certainly have a tremendous amount of those blessings if we just even live in this country. That doesn't say that we don't deal with challenges. There's lots of challenges in our lives today, lots of stress, a lot of that stress we put on ourselves, but part of it is just being the entrepreneurs that we've always wanted to be and own our businesses, or in the case of many of my dental colleagues, to own their practices. And that was always a dream because we wanted the lifestyle and the control, uh, but we also wanted freedom. And I think that's the thing that most find that is missing. While you can drive your business or your practice and you can earn enough active income by working hard, being diligent, taking CE courses, providing the best services possible, it comes with a price. It comes with a price. It comes with a price tag to you, your sanity, your peace of mind, your stress levels, your health. Uh, it comes with a the stress to your family because I can't tell you how many people, doctors who will confide or particularly our family or spouse will confide that he's a great hard worker and he provides for the family. But when he comes home, he's like a bear, like he just ran a marathon. It's something I've heard before is, is that's something that we don't consider because I've been there. We don't consider the fact that we may be willing to be the martyrs, to do what we think is the best thing for our family, yet our families are suffering and they won't say anything because they love us. They appreciate the hard work, but I don't think they're getting what they signed up for. We hang a flag high because we want to be looked at as successful. We want to carry that load for our families. That's what's put upon us. And yet at the end of the day, the whole game plan, the whole construct of why we set out to do what we're doing is somehow dismissed off into the sidelines. And now it just becomes getting through day by day and trying to figure out how do we ever exit this, this, this hamster wheel? I've got some docs, and again, I, I totally appreciate this. They'll say, well, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Yeah, I get that you are. I, you, you, you have to do that to do what you've done already, to get to the level of success by whatever society defines success. But in your mind, you're not successful if you can't have some peace of mind and lower stress. Otherwise, why don't we just go work for somebody else, right? When you actually clock out and go home and have the evenings and the weekends to yourself. Nope. But as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, we carry that load, whether we're physically involved in the business day to day, the operational the active income portion, or when we go home in the evenings on weekends or even on vacations, guess what? It's still here. It's always here. It's always on our shoulders. It never really goes away, does it? How can you actually enjoy the journey without burning yourself out when you're in your mid forties or fifties, or certainly people by their sixties have just about had it yet. They can't. You can't talk about that to your family. You can't talk about it to your spouse who they've all been sacrificing in many ways. Yeah, you've got the vacations and you live in a nice home in a nice neighborhood and you probably have good cars and you can put your kids to school. But at the end of it all, was that really what it was about? It's a, it's a decision we have to think about. What I found is that those who come to Freedom Founders, all highly capable, very credible in their own space, in what they do, and have done well for their families, but they're trying to find what's that pathway. Do I have a real plan? And frankly, none really do. It's, it's a guessing game. It's the traditional financial model. It's save and put money in a 401k or IRAs or, or play the stock market, whatever you want to do. And I, I look, obviously I'm biased. I'm biased about financial, financial versus tangible assets. I've always been a tangible asset person. And that starts with your practice. Your practice is a tangible asset. Now you've got the controls of it, but you, to have the controls, and you have to have the responsibility to be in it all the time. And that's fine during your active income years. The inflection point that most hardworking, high income, high net worth people miss is learning how to take the capital out of the practice into investments that they can actually have some level of control over. Now, not being active, you don't want two businesses, but investing in tangible assets outside the practice. I love real estate. You know, I'm biased about that. Been doing it for over 43 years. That's what got me free when I needed to be free when my daughter was sick in the hospital. Tangible assets give you more control. Now, it's not 100% passive. If you want passive, then you, yep, you just got to put your money in the 401k, keep your fingers crossed, and find out probably when you're in your mid 50s, late 50s, by your 60s, that game plan ain't working. You have no certainty about the outcome. You have no certainty at all. The markets are fickle. The depletion model 
is not something that I signed up for, and, and I wouldn't hope that you would either. But that's where you are if you're if you're really focused almost solely on the financial markets, as most people are. Of course, then we want to try something different, right? We want to try a, try a Hail Mary. So we'll jump on board to something late, some fad that other people have in the recently talked about doing well, and we find that it blows up because we got in too late, wrong model, wrong place. About a year ago, my team and I put together an anthology book. It's called Getting the Band Back Together. These are the stories. These are real stories. These are real practitioners, business owners, who are part of Freedom Founders um, today, right now today. Uh, just 14 at random. We have over, over 125. But these are those who uh, have, le have led the pack and in 36 months or less, got to their freedom number, replacing their lifestyle burn rate with other tangible assets. Now, not everybody sold their practice. Well, you don't have to when you've covered your burn rate and you actually want to stay relevant and be purposeful, purposeful but you can change your model. You can change that practice model, which, which a number of these people did in this book. They changed their model and now they feel like they've got longevity to be relevant and be purpose purposeful and use their talents without feeling that burnout. The stress is off, right? They're spending time with their family. They're taking longer longer spreads of uh, call it vacations or just time off to be more purposeful in their life. You don't have to wait till the quote retirement age to do this. In fact, I would tell you if, you're, if that's what you're thinking, you're dismissing some great opportunities. Uh, what we do in Freedom Founders is we're very much um, in the, the aspects of educating and connecting no assets under management. You don't need another app money manager. We don't do that. We just want you to be educated and connect you with the best people. Full time for you, collapse time, and give you a model that has measurable milestones. That's what takes the pressure off, measurable my milestones. It's the way to make headway in an e economic scenario that's very uncertain and very volatile and certainly going to be a lot different than it was in the last decade or even go back years prior to that. The model has changed. The question is, have you? If you'd like to have a discussion with myself or my team members, glad to have that with you and help you gain some clarity about where you're trying to go and what you're trying to do. You, I promise you, you will never have a discussion like you can have with us. Just take a step forward. Don't be reticent and put your future off into somewhere in the, in the, in the mystical future where you have no idea where you're going to go. It's just a hope and a prayer. Hope to talk to you soon.